uh, update video on my shoulder. I got a part two video coming up where I do my first bench press uh, after having my shoulder surgery. A uh, little over a year ago, I had arthroscopic uh, shoulder surgery over here where they cut, they actually even cut some of my collarbone up here and uh, they cleaned out a whole bunch of arthritis. So basically just giving an update showing you where I'm at, range of motion, pretty good. Uh, you see I could go here, go here, go like this. Ain't too bad, very, very minimal uh, discomfort uh, with the shoulder. Um, I said in another video where I was talking about uh, doing, um, I, I haven't done bench press yet. I'm gonna do it in a video, but I've been doing it with light weights. I've been doing incline uh, dumbbell presses, right? And they feel pretty good. Only thing is, I do notice this shoulder does fatigue maybe two reps faster than this shoulder. And I think that's just with time. Uh, hopefully it'll get stronger, but I feel like it's getting better and better every day. Um, but I do want to say this should be helpful to people uh, who maybe just had shoulder surgery or about to have shoulder surgery. I still do these exercises even a year later, all right? I get a band, grab it here, Keep the arm in tight, chest out, stomach tight, and I just close it just like this. Bring it across the body. Alright, I do like three sets of 15 doing this. Um, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I usually do both arms. You know, I mean, I do the non-surgery arm as well. But after I do that, then what I do, same, same arm, right arm. Take it, I bring it across the body this way. Open it up. Open it up. Alright. Do about three sets of 15. Just like this. Open it up. Open it up. Like I said, I do each arm. Um, another thing I do, which um, the doctor never really told me to, I would take two pound dumbbell, uh, not dumbbell, two pound plates or five pounds. And I just do this. Well, maybe you can see. Just kind of go like this. I just do this maybe 20 times. One, two, three, four, five. See, so this is before like I hit shoulders or usually right after I do all the band stuff. I just do that. Uh, maybe like I said, just 20 times. Um, something else that you could do. I just use a stationary bike over there. Hopefully you can see this, but get a chair or something like that. Ironing board, table, anything. Stretch out. They actually told me this after the surgery. Stretch out, hold it for like six seconds. Six to ten seconds. Hold it. Come back up. Hopefully you can see this. If not, just figure it out. <laughs> but you'll see. But basically, I'm just stretching out. Stretching my arm straight out. Going down, put my head down. Kind of just pulling gently on the shoulder. Alright. I do that like four times. And another thing. I learned from another actual YouTube video you can do. Just take this, take your fingers, lock them behind your back, chest out, and just pull back on your shoulders and hold it. Just like this. Hold it for like five to six seconds. Relax. Then go back again. Hold it back. Now you can do that um, four to five times. You can do that daily actually. Um, so those are things I do to this day. And even if you think about having shoulder surgery or not, you still could do those exercises. But like I said, I do these at least four to five times a week. Use them bands, use them plates with this motion, um, stretch out this way, um, or whatever else I say. Oh, and then, you know, you can always do this too. You know, stretch out the shoulders, whatever. Like I said, I do this shit all the time. I think this, forever I'm going to do this stuff. Um, you know, and so that's an update because I'm getting a lot of questions about that. Like, yo, what's up with your shoulder? Because I forgot I even did a video on it. So, hopefully this helped you out. Um, and hopefully this shows you that you can progress. So don't be uh, too fearful that, you know, if you have your uh, surgery, you can't come back, you can't do anything. Like I said, I just shot a video of me doing my first bench press. Lightweight, but it, it's, it's a big uh, step. Still got to take it easy. Still got to uh, progress. Don't rush shit. 
uh, because you know you don't want to go backwards but at some point you got to just push and go for it so keep you updated more often with the shoulder issue now I still got my finger issue but bottom line is no matter what keep going keep putting that work in all right be sure to subscribe see you in the next video